Yeah, hello everybody. Uh, here I uh, want to introduce the paper which I have simulated with MATLAB software. Uh, it is an uh, optimal dispatch for microgrid incorporating uh, renewables and demand response. Uh, I have simulated an optimal economic dispatch of a grid connected microgrid. The microgrid is consists of uh, one photovoltaic, solar photovoltaic, diesel and wind power sources uh, and uh, we have even considered demand response into this program uh, the, uh, the optimal dispatch is obtained by minimizing the conventional generators fuel costs transaction costs and the uh, uh, costs of uh, transaction costs of transferable power and maximizing the microgrid operators demand response benefit uh, we simultaneously satisfying the load demand constraints among other constraints. There are too many constraints in this paper. You can look at the, uh, see the paper. Uh, let me show you the paper. Optimal dispatch for microgrid incorporating renewables and demand response. Uh, and the rest of the paper I will discuss uh, so far. Uh, the developed mathematical model is tested on two particle cases studies and sensitivity analysis of the model to key parameters were also was also performed. The case study consists of three conventional generator units, one wind generator, one solar generator and three rural customers. Uh, and case two is a much bigger microgrid to test the, our model and verify the, uh, the scalability of our algorithm. The paper have used AI MMS, which is a uh, constrained problem solver software, but I have applied swarm intelligence uh, PSO uh, using using MATLAB. Using MATLAB. Uh, Mm, I have uh, obtained the results only for case 1. If you need case 2, we, I, we can go further more and talk about it, talk about the price uh, to simulate it for you. Uh, and uh, let me show you the paper. Uh, it is the uh, demand response model you can see. Uh, and, the, uh, and the model for the conventional generators. You can see. Oh, yeah, yeah is the objective function for conventional generators and uh, the transaction cost of transfer of power uh, and here you can see the uh, total objective function the data are available for for example case study 1 even for a case study 2 the data is available and the results you can see furthermore uh, let me show you the code this is the PSO code I have written for the model and uh, furthermore and this is the fitness function of cons uh, I have uh, implemented um, the constraints, effect of constraints even. Let me run it for you. Uh, as you know, it may take a, a little bit long in order to solve this problem. So you should uh, have a good PC uh, with high graphic card, uh, with high RAM. Uh, and uh, let me pause the video and when the results came I will continue the video now as you can see the results have ten reached to it uh, for a hundred iteration, iteration uh, reached to the end and I have collected the results for you here the results for case study one you can compare it with the results available in the paper appendix uh, in page 26 uh, the results are provided and I have provided the results for you here for case study one. Okay, good luck. See you. Bye